I'd like to thank our Buckeye fans. Also, uh, a lot of respect for the team we just played. And tough day at the office right there. So, uh, we'll take the win against a uh, uh, team that we know very well. They're on the road in November, 10 and 1, and get ready for a lot of the week. I'll answer your question. Second row left, Austin. What would you say? Tough day at the office. Did you expect it would go down quite that way at the end? And did you yeah, think when I woke, woke up, up or actually on Wednesday when I started hearing about the weather, it just Everything we we are a balanced off football team, and when we're not balanced, it's tough. And uh, they had the same problem. You couldn't, you know, we threw a bubble screen. I wasn't in the ball was bouncing, and so it was just real difficult to uh, execute the throw game. And had a couple of drops, and so uh, it's officially rival week. I'm not going to play. Can answer a couple of questions about this game, but we're eyes are forward, and let's go. You surprised that they went for two there, and maybe just I'm a surprise they threw it. Well, they. Uh, <clears throat> they were controlling the line of scrimmage. They, you know, once again, that was a tough drive for us to watch. That usually doesn't happen to us. And uh, but they're a good team, really good back, number three, Ohio guy. Okay. Um, talk to him after the game. He's a hell of a player. Um, I was somewhat surprised, but I, I've been in that situation before. And you have all kinds of momentum and go swing and try to have a knockout punch. Far left over here, Bill. Yeah, about the line play. Um, they have an inexperienced speed up line, and, and you guys have played well on the lines, both lines. Could you characterize the way both lines played for you guys? Our offense. Offense and the line. Uh, we had a couple penalties. We ran for two guys over 100 yards in a situation where they knew we were running because we couldn't really throw much. I don't think we played great, but I don't think it was awful. Defense line, you know, I don't. I'd have to watch the videotape. I don't watch much of that. You know, I know we had a couple big hits, and uh, you take away those big hits, but. They had some big hits against Over here to the right, Graham. That's a team that's had kind of a nightmarish season three and seven. What's your assessment of how far away they are from where they've been? I mean, I I just guess a lot of respect. I've been in the box hole against those guys, and, and I know their coaching staff very well, and you know, I have great respect for them, man. I think they're tough. I think they <coughs> shot everything they had on us today, and, and they played very hard, but I don't expect it any different. Far left over here, Tim. Yeah, Mike, Mike Warburton had the fumble there in the first half, and he came back to the second half and uh, had a huge run and then the touchdown. Just uh, <coughs> what did you talk to him about after that fumble, or did you even at all? But what did his game mean there in the second half? Yeah, he's over 1,000 yards as a freshman, which is a, a, a great accomplishment for him uh, with uh, three new stars on the offensive line as well. And, and uh, very pleased, you know, you know, with fumbles and two big plays in the first half, I was, you know, that's not us, and that can't be us. We'll lose next week if we play like that. So, um, yeah, I talked to him like we all do. Let's say plays behind it, tight ball, chin, 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 we call it. Let's go. Over here to the right, Doug. Urban putting up 62 the previous two weeks with the weather like that today. Looking at Michigan next week, do you, will you be able to be balanced offensively for that game the way you want it? It'll be to? tough to win. It'll be tough to win if we're not. I don't know the uh, weather forecast yet, and, uh, but we have to be balanced. And last year against these guys, the weather wasn't great. Obviously, it's a factor in the game. How do you feel like you guys as a staff handled it today with the plays you tried to call and try to deal with it? Well, much better. Uh, we actually had a weather plan. Uh, you know, once you have two players rush over 100 yards against the defense, it says we're going to be running. That's tough. And uh, we wanted to throw it. You know, I wanted to. There's a couple plays that were hash specific. It was right on the tip of my time. And then you start watching the clock. If a ball's tipped or you lose that game. And so, uh, you know, I, I wish we would not punt the damn thing out of the end zone again and try to drop them back in there. That was one of the most disappointing things. But I, I thought we did fine. You know, I don't think it's, it was a game of high execution because, uh, you know, on both ends of the ball, offense and defense, it's hard to run the ball. They know it's coming. And JT, 26 carries. That's just how it goes on a day like that? Thank you. How many? 26, I think. Yes. Yeah, there he goes, 24. 24, yeah. Way it goes. And, and last question over here, Austin. I got it. Irvin, it looked like both Chris and Malik had their hands on the, the two-point interception. Is there any conversation in the locker room about who actually got the interception there? Oh, the two-point Yeah, point. it looks like they both had their hands on it. Do does it matter, I guess? Fuck that ball. We're good. <laughs> Steve, Coach, right here. Ohio State has had coaches in the past who haven't worried about all the Big Ten talk, all the national championship talk. And when this week comes, they just laser focus on the University of Michigan. That's all you guys heard all week is you're number two, you're going to make the playoff, you're not going to make the playoff. Big Ten, little murky. Just do you, What's your thought right now about all that stuff 
in comparison to what this game and focus on this game would be? Well, you don't hear from us, right? but they don't live in a cocoon either, so I hear from the media, the ESPN and all that. That's part of it. I'm glad we're here. Uh, I'll, I'm, I don't know if I'll talk about it. I didn't talk about it there. We enjoyed the win. We're going to go home, enjoy the win, and wait for assignment tomorrow, and I'll probably address it at some point. Coach, thank, thank you very you. much.